Hi guys, I'm Dimension Jump, and today I'm doing my top 5 favourite Legend of Zelda moments. Now, within this list, I'm going to be talking about some of the moments in the Legend of Zelda series that I find, like, you know, the most cool and stuff like that. So, for number 5, is collecting the first Deity's Mask at the end of Majora's Mask. Now, what about, like, I like about this moment is that you're, it's basically a payoff from all from collecting all of the other masks you have gathered within the game. So the stone mask, uh, the blast mask, the all night mask, and every single other mask that you've gathered. And I like it how um, you can you can basically use it just to be quite quite overpowered and become the fifth deity itself. But the downside to this is that you can only use the mask within boss battles. Um, so basically, you can use it against like you know the the four main bosses in the game. Uh, and you can't use it outside of boss battles, which I think is quite okay. I kind of see why because uh, Nintendo didn't want you to become like really overpowered. So yeah, but yeah. For number four, it's the Colossus boss battle from Skyward Sword. Now what I like, what I like, look at what I like about this boss battle is that um, it's a really, like probably one of the best uh, Zelda bosses in. Like you know, not in not only in Zelda history, but probably in Skyward Sword itself, because with Kalokhtos, not only can he protect his weak spot, uh, but he can also um, use uh, swords. He can use these axe blade things, that, which can c kind of do like boomerang stuff. He can um, some kind of goblins, and he can also walk uh, for a second phase. And I think that's like really cool, and and also how you can like use the whip. Uh, the Asian citizen's item to basically rip off his arms and basically use his swords just to like hit him with it and yeah it's a really cool and enjoyable boss battle for number three is the combined power of all the divine beasts uh, on the final boss fight in Breath of the Wild uh, and what I like about this moment is basically um, all of the uh, you know champions and using the power of the, their own respective divine beasts and just basically blasting uh, Calamity again with you know a lot of energy like a lot of like light energy or something a lot later energy uh, uh, I don't know but um yeah it's really cool but it does even though it does make the boss fight a lot easier it's still a cool moment and not only do you see like all the champions but you get to hear like a really cool um like a theme to it like how they all like do their thing and stuff uh, for number two it's, it's the Master Sword, uh, or to more, be more specific, uh, Link drawing the Master Sword. Uh, and what I like about uh, the mo this moment is basically it's used in all the games that the Master Sword has appeared in. So, uh, A Link to the Past, Ocarina of Time, Skyward Sword, uh, and various other games. And I just like it because uh, it's basically Link, uh, kind of, I think, kind of like growing more in, in terms of the hero. Because uh, from before he even gets the Master Sword, um, he basically has like you know, uh, like several weapons or items that he has used before in the past, or in, in the game. But now he has a weapon that he can actually use and face off against um, a variety of enemies and such stuff. And I like it how in uh, Skyward Sword, um, when you upgrade. Uh, the the a fee sword to the master sword, it it has like a sort of like white sort of uh, foggy kind of blade, and when he when it gets blessed by that, I like it how it just opens up and becomes the true master sword, and I think it's really cool. And for number one is the return of Gandalf in uh, the Breath of the Wild two teaser trailer. Now I know that Breath of the Wild two isn't out yet, and we only got like uh, a snippet of what. Um, it's gonna look 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 like and how how this game might become like you know a Majora's Mask sequel because like how Majora's Mask was like a darker take and a darker sequel to Ocarina of Time and I I think this is a really cool moment because we get to see like Gandalf all mummified and how he might how and how he's going to return and I would really like to see him like you know start off with being this mummified corpse. Then slowly regenerating himself into this sort of like more powerful version of Gandalf, and I, and I really hope this is probably going to be the most powerful version because of of Gandalf in particular, because of how like he's able to like 
become, well, it's Malice version. It's basically the gigantic beast of of the, of previous Ganons, and yeah, and I really like it how in the end of the teaser trailer, uh, when Gans, Gandalf's head basically just turns and kind of like does a snapping at the neck, and that's kind of like you know terrifying and dark, and I really I'm enjoying to see how Gandalf is going to return this game. So. Yeah, that's so that's been my top five favorite moments in the, from the Legend of Zelda series. Uh, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.